What is the significance of the Valley of the Dry Bones for this present hour? We got a lot more to hear from you. We want people to hear your voice today, and we hope that we can bring you back again. Mm -hmm. But uh, the Valley of the Dry Bones, do they reply to this present hour of America? The Valley of Dry Bones teaches us one of the most important lessons that we have in this hour. Remember that when Ezekiel stood and saw nothing but bones to the north, south, the east, and the west, God asked him a question. He said, can these bones live? And Ezekiel answered honestly, because he didn't know if perhaps these bones were the bones of people that had been asked that question before and answered it wrong. And he said the only right answer. He said, only you know. Only you know, God. Now, this means that for us to have a vision, certainly we have to believe the vision can happen. But God even takes us beyond that level. He forces us to believe in a vision we can't even imagine. And that's when God said to a man who said, I don't know if these bones can live, only you do. He said, prophesy to those bones. The message to this hour is that we are going to be told by God how to turn this culture around. We can't imagine it. We can't see it. It's like Jehoshaphat said to God, we have no might against this host, but your, our eyes are on you. God is not only going to tell you to do things you can imagine. The Bible says our thoughts are not his thoughts. His ways are above our ways. And it's not entered into our mind, the things God can do. That's why I'm taking a tent up the Central Valley of California and going against the media, against the left, going against every rational description. Our tent is proving to people Californians by the tens of thousands want Christ right now. And if it's true in California, it's true in your community. And it's true in your neighborhood. And maybe it'll be raw. And maybe it'll be hard. But it'll be glorious. And we've got to have faith in the power of God to tell us how to do the impossible. 